All right, everything that we've done so far is looked at linear functions, which look like this. Can someone tell me what form this line equation is in? Is that slope good? And what was this one in? General form. What do you notice about the variable x? What are we doing with it? We're multiplying x because the sign in algebra that we don't write, what's the sign between 2 and x? Fine, it's good. An exponential function looks like this. So I've just written a random one here. Here, x is a what? Am I multiplying by x now? Not squared. Because it's only going to be square if x is 2. I'm just powering it. I'm raising it to a power. Here, x is a power. Do you know what the other words for powers are? One starts with an e. Exponents, well done. Exponent or exponent, doesn't matter. So an exponential function is one where the variable x is a power or exponent. That's all you need to know with that. So we've been looking at this, most of your test is on this, but the last little bit of it is to go over these kind of functions. This is where the notes will start. In year 11, we look at exponential functions in this form. y is equal to a times by b to the power of x. y is the value of the y variable, which is dependent. x is the value of the x variable, which is independent. But the important stuff is to understand what a and b stand for. So a is the value of y when x is equal to 0. You can think of it as the starting value of the y variable. So here, where does y start? y is going to start at 2. This one here, what is A? A is 5. So what's Y going to start at? At 5. And then B is the multiplier. It is what Y is multiplied by over and over again. Can you get this, please? And then we'll do an example. Can you get down to that star? A is the value of y when x is 0, it's the starting value of y. B is the multiplier, it's what, x, it's what y is multiplied by. Now to show this works, consider the function y is equal to 5 times by 2 to the power of x. Can someone tell me what the value of a is in this particular function? Which number is it? 5 or 2? 5. Good. And which one is the multiplier b? 2. Good. So how do we fill in the table of an exponential function? Well, I already told you that a is the starting value of y when x is equal to 0. So that's going to be 5. 
but I'll also use maths to show you why it's 5 as well. Because if I have the function y is equal to 5 times by 2 to the power of x, and what is the table saying x is? 0. What is anything to the power of 0? No? No? 1. Yeah. So that's going to be y is equal to 5 times by 1, which is going to be 5, which is what we've got here. Now, let's do x is equal to 1. y is equal to 5 times by 2 to the power of 1. Anything to the power of 1 is itself. So 5 times by 2 is going to be 10. Does that fulfill what I said about b? b is the multiplier. It is what y is multiplied by. What did I just multiply y by to get this number? 2. The multiplier is 2. All right, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5 times by 2 to the power of 2. What is 2 to the power of 2? Yep, 2 times by 2, so equals 5 times by 4. 5 times by 4 is? 20. So, what did I say b was? It's the multiplier. It is what y is multiplied by. What did I just multiply y by to get this? 2. What did I multiply y by to get this one here? No? Two. 5 times by 2 is going to be 10. 10 times by 2 is going to be 20. Is, if I graph this, is that going to be a straight line? No. No. It's going to curve up. Okay? So last one here, y is equal to 5 times by 2 to the power of 3. Anyone off the top of your head know what 2 the power of 3 is? No. No. 8. 8. Why? 2 times 2 times 2 times it by itself eight. equals 5 times by 8, which is 40. I didn't have to do this, maths, because I told you that the multiplier tells you what you're multiplying y by. What is y currently? 20. What if I times it by 2? 40. What does this say? Also 40. You can fill it out either way. It really doesn't matter. Copy and complete. As x increases by 1, can you see that x is going up by 1 each time? Yes or no? Yeah. Plus 1. What can we say is happening to y? Is y increasing by the same amount each time? No. Is it being multiplied? Yes. Good. Y is multiplied by 2 each time. So that is the main difference between linear an exponential. When it was linear, this would always go up by the same number. This isn't anymore. This went up by 5. This went up by 10. This went up by 20. So what is it doing? It's being multiplied by the same thing each time. That is me done. Can you get that example down please? And you're working on only 13b. It won't take you very long. Thank you.